Today, we're talking about the best tools for remote collaboration. Whether you're managing a small team or large organizations, these tools can help you stay connected and productive, even for someone like me who is incredibly unproductive the vast majority of the time. It's amazing how many of these tools specifically designed for remote teams have popped up in the last few years. I keep a very nerdy list that I literally have somebody on the team update quarterly, I believe, and I thought I'd go through the list of tools you maybe haven't heard of all that much, but they're really cool tools and I think they're going to be something that you hopefully implement inside of your team. And since we have team members in 45 plus countries all over the world, because I say plus, sometimes it floats like 46, 47 people. Collaboration is critical to us. And if you're watching this video, it's probably pretty important for you as well. So let's get you subscribed to this channel and like this video and then jump into the list, right? So first up, let's look at PingPad. PingPad is a web-based wiki that integrates seamlessly with Slack, making it an excellent choice for remote teams that rely heavily on Slack for communication. This tool allows for easy creation and sharing of collaborative documents, which helps teams keep all their knowledge in one accessible place. With PingPad, you can ensure that your team's knowledge base is always just a message away, streamlining this process of information retrieval, which I know is actually a big problem for the vast majority of companies. Its simplicity and integration capabilities make it a reliable choice for efficient collaboration. Number two is Slight, and Slight actually has come to running remote quite a few times. Slight's designed for collaborative editing with a strong focus on simplicity and user experience. It's perfect for teams that need a straightforward tool for document creation and management. One of its standout features is its clean and intuitive interface, which makes it easy for team members to adopt and use effectively. However, it's worth noting that Slight lacks some advanced permission settings, which might be a limitation for larger teams with more complex needs. Despite this, its ease of use makes it a favorite among remote teams. And I know for sure that just recently, Christopher, who is the CEO of Slight, has actually built a really cool LLM layer on top of their system. So you can ask things like, hey, what's my PTO policy? And it will literally just tell you what your PTO policy is for you. It's a really interesting new direction with regards to process documentation. And I hope that they continue down that path because I think it's a big differentiator in comparison to everyone else. Number three is Slab. Slab offers a well-designed standard wiki solution that's praised for its user-friendly interface and robust functionality. Despite concerns about its long-term sustainability due to its venture-backed nature, Slab remains a strong choice for teams looking to maintain a centralized knowledge base. It supports powerful integrations with tools like Slack, GitHub, and Google Drive, making it a versatile addition to any team's toolkit. Slab's focus on providing a seamless user experience makes it particularly valuable for remote teams needing efficient knowledge management. Number four is Dossier. It's a relatively new player in the space, but it's quickly gained attention with its solid implementation and Slack integration. This tool is ideal for teams that require a comprehensive documentation solution integrated with their main communication platform. Dossier allows for the easy creation and management of documents, ensuring that all team members have access to the latest information. Its seamless Slack integration helps maintain the flow of information without needing to switch between different applications, which is really great when you're actually focused on productivity. Number five is Guru, and Guru is like if Trello and a wiki had a baby, which would be very weird. It's designed primarily for sales and support enablement. And this tool captures and shares knowledge efficiently, which is crucial for teams that need to access accurate information quickly. Guru's ability to integrate with other tools such as Slack, Chrome, and Microsoft Teams makes it a versatile option for remote teams. While it comes with a higher price tag, its robust feature set justifies the cost, especially for teams that prioritize streamlined knowledge sharing and management. Number six is Quip. Quip can function as a wiki and offers collaborative document editing with the added benefit of integrations with Salesforce. And I know a lot of people use Salesforce inside of the remote work world. This makes it particularly valuable for teams that need to manage both documents and data from Salesforce in one place. However, it does have this notable downside. The mix of drafts with published content can lead to confusion. Despite this, its collaborative features and ability to integrate multiple data sources make it a powerful tool for many remote teams at least in my opinion. And the opinion of 
almost all VP of sales guys that are running enterprise organizations. They all love Salesforce. I don't know why. Number seven is Notion. Notion is a powerful document editor that can also be used as a wiki, making it incredibly versatile. Teams can manage projects, create databases, and write documents all within Notion, which centralizes various workflows. Its flexibility allows teams to customize their workspace to fit the exact needs of what they're doing. Whether it's note-taking, project management, or knowledge sharing, Notion's user-friendly interface and broad range of features have made it one of the most popular tools for remote teams looking to stay organized and efficient. And in my opinion, it's actually the one that I hear the most small orgs, SMB companies use because it's just got such an easy access level. It's very easy to start and the cost of the actual software is relatively cheap. Next up is Coda. Coda is very similar to Notion in that it combines document creation with spreadsheet capabilities, offering a unique blend of tools in one platform. It can function as wiki but also provides more complex data handling capabilities through its spreadsheet features. This makes Coda an excellent choice for teams that need a versatile tool to handle diverse types of data and documents. Its ability to integrate with other tools and automate workflows further enhances its appeal to remote teams looking for an all-in-one solution. Next up, Confluence. Confluence by Atlassian is the gold standard for wikis and it is actually the wiki that we use at Running Remote and Time Doctor. It's offered offering a comprehensive set of features that cover all documentation needs. It's particularly valued for its ability to integrate with other Atlassian projects like Jira, which is beneficial for development teams, of which we are one and of which we use the living crap out of that particular feature. While some users find Confluence a bit bloated due to its extensive feature set, not me, its robust capabilities make it a staple for many large organizations. Confluence detailed permission settings and extensive plugin ecosystem provide the flexibility flexibility needed for managing complex documentation requirements. And in my opinion, it's probably one of the most fully featured wikis that currently exist today. I'm not saying that some of these other products aren't incredibly innovative as well, but just if you want the fully featured sales force of wikis, Confluence is probably the right choice for you. Number 10 is GitLab. GitLab is primarily known as a DevOps platform, but also serves as an excellent wiki tool for engineering centric teams. It integrates well with other development tools, allowing for seamless documentation within their development workflow. GitLab's wiki features are straightforward yet powerful, providing a familiar environment for developers. This makes it a great choice for tech teams that need to maintain detailed technical documentation alongside their code base. And it is an incredibly powerful tool. And they're also a fantastic remote and asynchronous organization. Next up is README. README focuses on developer documentation, but can be adapted into an internal wiki for broader team use. Its strength lies in making complex information accessible and easy to understand, which is crucial for developer teams. Readme's user-friendly interface and interactive documentation capabilities make it a standout choice for teams that need to communicate technical information effectively. Several teams have successfully turned Readme into an internal wiki, leveraging its robust features to manage internal knowledge. In my opinion, it's one of those things that I'm hearing this quite a bit. A lot of companies are actually using using README and pushing it outside of its realm of comfort, I suppose you could basically say. But it's very cool to be able to see it and it's interesting of where README will be going over the next couple years. Next up is Obi. Obi includes a bot that helps store and retrieve team knowledge efficiently. The bot integrates with existing tools like Slack, making it easy to access information without leaving your primary communication platform. Obi's ability to automate knowledge capture and retrieval streamlines the process of keeping team members informed. This is particularly useful for remote teams that rely on quick access to accurate information to maintain productivity and also more specifically asynchronous teams. OB is a godsend. I'm hearing this from customers and from friends of mine. Number 13 is Niles. Niles is a wiki built inside of Slack, making it incredibly convenient for teams already using Slack as their main communication tool. It allows for seamless integration of knowledge management within the chat environment, reducing the need to switch between between different applications. Niles makes it easy to search and retrieve
retrieve information, ensuring that your team always has the knowledge they need at their fingertips. This integration enhances productivity by keeping everything within the familiar Slack interface, which is incredibly powerful because if you're like me, you probably spend 30 to 40% of your workday inside of Slack. I actually spend 37.8% of last week's work week inside of Slack. I should probably reduce that number. Next up is YNAW, AKA you need a wiki. <laughs> YNA is a wiki for Google Docs, providing the collaborative power of Google Docs with the structure of a wiki. This tool is ideal for teams that already use Google's ecosystem and want to enhance their documentation management capabilities. YNA organizes Google Docs into a structured wiki format, making it easier to navigate and manage large volumes of documents. Its simplicity and integration with Google's suite of tools make it a practical choice for remote teams. I know for me, we started using Google Docs initially for our process documentation, and it was so powerful if we had had, or it would have been so powerful if we had had a tool like this to be able to augment the capabilities of Google Docs. And I know that when I look at people that build process documents today, the most popular choice is actually Google Docs. So YNAW is probably a really good choice to check out. Next is Nuclino. Nuclino is a solid web-based wiki known for its clean interface and ease of use. It allows teams to create and organize content in a visual intuitive way, which enhances collaboration and knowledge sharing. Although it lacks Slack integration, its user-friendly design and real-time collaboration features make it a favorite among many remote teams. Nuclino's simplicity and effectiveness in managing knowledge make it a reliable tool for keeping teams aligned and informed. And plus, in my opinion, it has the coolest name of anyone in this list, Nuclino. I just like to say that word. Nuclino. Next up is SlimWiki. SlimWiki is a straightforward wiki that focuses on simplicity and ease of use. It recently added Slack integration, making it more convenient for teams that use Slack as their primary communication tool. While the editor can feel a bit clunky, SlimWiki provides a reliable solution for teams needing a basic yet effective documentation tool. Its lightweight design and straightforward functionality make it suitable for teams looking for an uncomplicated way to manage their knowledge base. And in my opinion, if you are trying to actually start a process documentation project, simple is always the winner. So there you go. That's my nerdy list of all of the different collaboration slash wiki tools that I am really kind of interested in that are doing something different on the internet. Each of these tools offers, in my opinion, a unique feature set that can help your team stay connected and productive no matter where they are. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below with your favorite collaboration tool. I'd love to be able to hear it. Maybe there's something that I didn't cover here and make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more insights on remote work and productivity. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.